two of these horses and myself were in a Budweiser Super Bowl commercial this past year. Harper says it was a dream come true for him as he has had a lifelong fascination with the breed. Starting five years ago, he bought his first Clydesdale and has even rescued one. Out of the four horses... Two of these horses did not know how to pull anything. Harper trained them and in turn increased their value. Clydesdale horses that work in a hitch in a parade season are worth over $30,000. This team of horses eats 800 pounds of feed and 18 bales of hay each week, which helps them pull a record breaker. Harper and his brother built what is known as the largest hitch wagon in America. And wagon makers across the country have been intrigued by it, saying that it's the largest wagon that they know that's in existence today in the United States. And how did he get the wheels for it? He drove 2,400 miles from his home in Pearl River. The wagon is over 10 feet tall, almost 7 feet wide, and has to be carried on a special trailer to meet DOT regulations. When Harper is not driving a car, he's driving the wagon. One guy's last request was he wanted to be carried to the grave on a wagon. We did a, a funeral that morning and a wedding that afternoon. So we can haul them to be married and we can haul them to be buried. <laughs> Shannon Menard and Timothy Cochran work for Harper and the Honey Island Clydesdales on every haul, no matter the occasion. And Menard's favorite horse? Alexis, because she's so sweet and she's real easy to work with. Um, and she also let me put my hat on her head every once in a while. The people of Louisiana and Mississippi are fortunate to have these unique animals servicing their events in the Deep South as they normally live in cold weather climates. For North Shore News, I'm Maria Goddard.